This video is going to be a side-by-side-by-side -side -side, uh, comparison of the Cisco Spectrum Expert application that's actually connected to a Cisco 3500 series clean air access point that's operating in SE Connect mode rather than local mode serving client data. Um, so it's that application and then I will look around at the Air Magnet Spectrum XT application that's using an Air Magnet Spectrum adapter. It's a USB adapter for spectrum analysis. And then I also have the Channelizer, uh, the Wi-Spy DBX. This is just Channelizer 4, and this is from MetaGeeks. But I wanted to go into a little more depth about uh, the different tabs and functions of Cisco Spectrum Expert uh, and show you the defaults between the three different applications so you can see what each one shows you and how they can be configured. Um, this is the main display of the Cisco Spectrum Expert application. You can see that the, the, the SE Connect device sees cordless phones. We have different variables that we can turn off and on here. We can turn on the trace for the max and average and then the max hold so we can get an idea of what the RF looks like uh, as it's adjusting and it will show you the max. It will hold that blue line of the, uh, the maximum RF detected. Um, we can see the swept spectrogram. It's also configurable. Um, you can auto scale it or you can adjust it for the lowest and highest. Um, same thing with this swept spectrogram over here. We're able to look at the channel utilization, interference power, active devices, channel utilization versus time. We can add different plots, different charts. We can uh, configure the sensor setup and the different channels that are detected. Um, we can look at the devices and double click on a device and it will give us some additional information about that device. Um, if you click advanced, you can look at the device details, which could be useful because uh, there's a list of known devices that could possibly be um, this decked like network. So that's, that's useful information. It will show you all of the channels and the sources of interference on the channels. Um, let me go to the Air Magnet Spectrum XT application. This is the default view. At the top we have the real-time FFT, which shows us if we mouse over it anywhere we can see additional information about the channel that's in use and the max average and hold, you know, the, the whole time of the the, the the highest RF that was detected. The spectrogram is also a nice display. It can give you a, a really good visual of which channels are the most hit based upon the yellow and orange. Uh, are the which ones are most in use. We have a conventional microwave oven that's also seen and when we double click on it we can actually use this interface here along with a directional antenna to find the device. There's paragraphs of information here about what you could do um, to eliminate microwaves that are causing interference. Um, let me go back to the main page. We have AP signal strengths which, which is a nice display because if you mouse over it it will give you the MAC addresses and RSSI of all of the SSIDs operating in channel 1. Looks like there's a neighboring office around here that has an AP operating in channel 3, which is interesting to note. Um, we can look quickly at our band, our 2.4 gigahertz band up here, and see that 80% of the duty cycle is being used for channel 1. That's not good. Um, and when I double click on it, it narrows that information down to just this section of the screen. If I wanted to look at the mixed mode and display the 2.4 and 5, it refreshes the screen and gives me a little bit different display and gives me a real-time FFT for the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz upper, middle, and extended. So it's interesting to see all of them together. You can actually go in and configure different variables, display options. Um, you can adjust charts to show you by channel or by frequency. You can record and play back this information. Um, you can look at device patterns so you can get an idea of what you're looking at. So maybe uh, if you've seen RF output enough times, you'll be able to identify devices by looking at them. Um, so this is the Air Magnet Spectrum XT application on a live capture. Now this is Channelizer 4 from MetaGeeks using the Wi-Spy DBX adapter. Up here at the top, you can see the amplitude of the networks that are shown. You can kind of see the, uh, the colored representation of the channels 1, 6, and 11 up here at the top. If you mouse over the, the networks table, you can sort by RSSI, you can sort by the vendor, if the vendor is known, you can sort by the channel. You can look at the RF signatures um, to identify the sources of interference up here at the top. You can look at the different channels and see how many access points are in each channel. You can configure it to look at just Wi-Fi channels 1, 6, and 11 or you can switch to the full 5 gigahertz band which is always very quiet because it's not nearly in, in, in as much use 
as the 2.4 gigahertz band. So let me switch back to the full 2.4 band. And from here you can go into preferences and you can set logging information. You can change the color density to represent density or by amplitude. I'm going to change that back to by density. Um, so I just wanted you to see the three different applications side by side since I happen to have all of them here and up and running. This is Channelizer 4 for MetaGeeks using a Wi-Spy DBX USB adapter. This is Air Magnet Spectrum Expert using the Air Magnet Spectrum Adapter USB adapter. And this is the Cisco Spectrum Expert application connected to a Cisco 3500 series access point in SE Connect mode. And that's interesting. You can see the little box showing that there's a microwave affecting um, channel 9. But that's all I wanted to leave you with was a side-by-side-by-side -side -side comparison.